Hi friends, it's me Anne, and today I want to share with you how I created this 2D rainbow illustration into a 3D version of it. It's a new feature that I've learned in Adobe Illustrator where you can create all this 3D magic. And I want to share with you the step-by-step -step, um, in real time where you can follow along this tutorial to create the same thing. All you need to do is get your Adobe Illustrator 2022 ready and let's go! Open up your Adobe Illustrator and my canvas here is just a standard 1920 to 1080. If you want to get the same result as mine, feel free to note the hex code that I used in the colors for this rainbow. Now, press L to switch to the ellipse shape tool and click once on the canvas and enter in the size of 1000 pixel for both the width and height to create our circle. Alright, now we want to create a series of circles. At the top, go to Objects, choose Path, and then choose Offset Path. In the box, enter minus 100 pixel here, and click OK. This will create a small circle within our original circle. Now click the smaller circle and do the same thing again. Object Path, Offset Path, minus 100 pixel, and OK. Let's repeat this a few times until we have all the necessary elements. Okay, last one. Now we have our full rainbow. Press Command Y for Mac to show the wireframe. Press A and highlight the points that we want to get rid and delete. One more step to complete it. I want to be able to clean up like all the unseen shapes here. So you see that there are unseen like overlapping shapes behind. To do this, select the two shapes that you want to cut out and go to your shape builder tool on the toolbar on the left. When I press shift, you'll see that the plus sign turns to minus. If you click on the highlighted part, you will be able to remove that shape. So that's the function of the shape builder tool. Now let's start from the top. Select the red and yellow shape, choose Shape Builder and remove the part that we don't want. And we'll have the red part, but unfortunately we'll lose the yellow part. So what I do here is I'll copy the yellow part before deleting it and pasting it after I have cut my red circle. So I'll do it here again, copy the green shape, choose green and yellow shape, remove the overlap, and then I'll paste the green shape and I'll move it backward. So one more time, I'll copy the blue, um, remove the overlap, and then paste it back. For the last one, I don't need to copy the white part since I will need it to be gone anyway, so let's remove that. So now we'll have the rainbow done, clean, and no overlapping shapes under each other. So after we have the rainbow done, now we'll have to make the cloud and this is much easier. So choose the whitish color from the palette and create a circle. Duplicate it and arrange it to its left. Duplicate and arrange to its right. Duplicate and add the puffiness at the bottom. So we'll arrange it so that it looks like a nice fluffy cloud. Okay, I'm checking in the wireframe just to ensure that everything's symmetrical and nice and we're done. Adjust the cloud to cover the bottom of the rainbow, resize, and do what you need to do. We want these clouds to cover the corner of the rainbow. Now we're done, which is we have finally created the 2D version of the rainbow. Let's group all these elements. Time to do the magic here. Now under the window, choose the option 3D and materials and this will open up like this window panel here where all the magic will happen. Choose the object tab and click on inflate over here. Make sure that you have selected all the elements. Let's go. We see we're getting there. Now 
Under the Materials tab, I just use the default material. Scroll down here to find the Properties tab and enter the amount 0.63 for its roughness. And then for the metallic um, field, we'll just use um, 0.2. And then moving on to the last tab, which is the lighting. For the color of the light, I like something slightly off-white. After experimenting for this icon, I find that the settings and these values work best for me, so you're welcome to enter, enter the exact value on the screen or experiment on your own. Alright, we have set up the 3D settings and we are one more step away from completing it. Now let's click render to see how things will turn out. It will take some time, don't worry, and my computer is working really hard right now. And here you go, this is the final render of the 3D rainbow icon. I was so shocked when I first tried it out, it looks like clay and people thought it was clay, earrings, all those things. And yeah, there are limitations like uh, to this 3D feature in Adobe Illustrator, but I just love how it turns out and it's just such a big step for a lot of us who are in the 2D illustration realm. The cool thing is that you can still change the color and just like Factor, it will um, allow you to like move things around, although it means that you'll have to re-render again and it can be quite heavy to work in the real-time render mode. So if you wish to make changes faster, you can just turn off the real-time render mode um, on the top right of the 3D panel, or you can go to another effects panel and just turn off the 3D effect and you can edit it in the 2D form without having to keep rendering every time you make those changes. I will just create some background to the scene just to complete the look and I love the way the shadow spreads nicely. And there you go! I hope that is an easy to follow tutorial. Please tag me on Instagram um, if you have created something from this tutorial because I would love to see them. So that's it! Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It was my first ever tutorial and it was just really fun to share what I've learned, what I have discovered. So if there's anything that you want to see that I do next time or topics that you want me to cover, just write them down below in the comment. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again!